of mountains of torque right off the bottom. It just, if I'm honest, this is exceeding expectations. Sick, right? Wow. wow! Right? Brakes are great. Suspension feels great, feels super balanced. Headlight's functional. Tail light is a running light. Freaking awesome. Brakes are really on point. Carburetes really well too, like right off the bottom. Revs up top. You don't have to wring its neck. I mean, the XR650 stock, they're really, they're slugs compared to this. Right off the bottom, it's really good. Really, really, really good. Freaking awesome. Sick, Billy. You gotta ride this thing. You got to. Real quick. Quickie. Billy, get uh, get like two gears higher than you think you'll need, yeah. and then just like feel it pull. <laughs> he's like he's like, no, no, it's alright, it's alright. And then you can't get him off of it. Sick, right? Right? First impressions. First impressions is awesome, man. Big head up top. I mean, it, it's uh, mid-range, low-range is great, but uh, up top, it's like it's on a turbo. <laughs> it is. It's amazing. It's like on a turbo. Woo! I don't know if I can stand that much excitement. <laughs> really cool yeah, shit. It's having a bad day, and then we fired the 610. Yep. Holy shit. Wow. It's a jewel, a jewel, a gem. It's a happy motorcycle. Isn't it? Oh God, yeah, all that torque. Massive four-stroke torque. You know, just sitting in the, in the showroom, walking around, I was thinking to myself, like what a conversation piece. Like just to like sit there and look at it. Yeah, yeah. Attention to detail everywhere you look. Unusual frame setup. I mean, aluminum swing arm, extruded aluminum swing arm with a steel frame. Yeah, very, very dude, unusual. Dude, look at the backbone. Look, this yeah, is massive. Massive backbone. Looks like a street yeah. bike, dude. Right, right. With all that power, you're throwing this around in a motocross track. I don't know any other dual sport bike that has as much curb appeal as the Husqvarna 610 WXC. Look at the engine profile of this bike. Right side chain drive out to the dual exhaust. This tailpiece is just ridiculous. Factory seat, headlight, taillight model street legal factory excel wheels this one's just been completely refreshed by our techs has a lot of original equipment on it look at the foot pegs are perfectly straight the kickstand is still present the swing arm all the cycle parts are in just phenomenal shape and i gotta show you this first check out the frame rails on this bike steel tubes hollow steel tubes like the rest of the bikes from this era and they're perfectly straight no imperfections in the engine cases. These upside down forks. This is a 93 model. Of course, this is a kickstart model. Check out the factory exhaust. Just trick looking. Husqvarna, the 2215. Just a lot of craftsmanship on this bike. Check the gallery. The photos are just off the charts. Chris Kelly, the dirt bike wizard, just went through her. Changed the engine oil, cleaned, set, and adjusted the carb, cleaned in the ultrasonic tank, replaced the air filter, and of course, lubed it. New spark plug bled and flushed the front and rear brakes, replaced the upper chain wheel. It also has a new chain guide, brand new. Installed new gold chain, installed new Dunlop. It's got a new Dunlop D606, it's massive rear tire and a new tube. He installed new rental bars and Ori grips and also cleaned the factory throttle housing. 
It was a, a full Monty service. Chris also rebuilt the front forks, new fork seals and five weight fork oil, but new headlight bulb in it. And Christy just knocked it out of the park with the reproduction factory Husqvarna decal set. Check this out, Christy absolutely killed it. And this thing just pops with the yellow number plates. I love the rear fender. Look at the factory Husqvarna rear tail light. That's the twin tips and the massive D606 rear tire. Hey. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, this baby has a racing pedigree. Um, 610 Husky won a couple of World Grand Prix in, 60, in uh, 1993. Uh, and it was pretty remarkable because it was running against the two strokes at the time. Really? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, it really turned the tide. Uh, this bike is not single-handedly, but one of the bikes that was at the forefront of the four-stroke revolution in uh, world motocross. So, yeah, look at this bike, and it represents exactly what that period of time was, it, and uh, very well, too, because this thing is clean and mint. This bike is just super. And uh, if you could climb on one of these and ride fast, um, you're a tough guy. It's, it's a big motorcycle, and it's, it's, uh, it's very fast. But stops as good as it goes, handles you know, perfectly um, for the period. Disc brakes, massive upside down forks. On the forks here, these clips. Right, yeah, the, yeah the, the clamps for the, the um, fork guards. See the Husqvarna decal and the Husqvarna decal on the... Uh... All those details point to the fact that Husqvarna was very proud of their mark. They put their, their mark on everything that they made and, and proudly so. This is a very old mark. Husqvarna has been making motorcycles since uh, uh, before the dawn of time, probably around the 1920s, believe it or not. They made Is that motocross right? Motocross bikes, yeah, four-stroke motocross bikes. Uh, uh, they were one of the tops uh, back in the 1950s when uh, world motocross really started. So uh, they've been at it for a long time. And, and again, this 610 was part of the changing of the, uh, the guard in world motocross. Team Husky sponsored me back in the day, you know. <laughs> Did they? 1983, I rode for Team Husqvarna here in New England in Enduros. And uh, their bikes were, uh, it was a full-on um, uh, two-stroke Husqvarna 250WR that I rode for them that year. It was the last year of the metal tank. They went on to greater and much better and bigger things after that. Husqvarna was really kind of on their knees at the point when they were in the 80s. But by the mid-90s, they were really up and running again.